Quote, peace through strength. That Reagan-esque slogan is how Donald Trump started a major national security speech in Philadelphia today, calling for a big boost in military spending to maintain U.S. supremacy and fight our enemies. Immediately after taking office, the GOP nominee says he will give his generals 30 days to come up with a plan to quickly defeat ISIS. Now, those of you paying close attention know that this claim is at odds with previous Trump pronouncements. He has previously said that he knows more about ISIS than the generals do. He's also said he already has a, quote, foolproof plan to destroy the terrorist group. But forget about that foolproof plan or the fact that in June, Mr. Trump said the generals don't know much. Now the generals have to come up with a new plan. CNN's Sunlin Sarfati joins me live. Sunlin, did Mr. Trump elaborate at all on how, under a Trump administration, he would destroy ISIS? Not with too much specificity, Jake, other than that new call for generals to come up with a plan within 30 days of a potential Trump presidency. He did say, though, that beyond military warfare, he does believe that taking on ISIS will require cyber, financial, and ideological efforts. That's, of course, all part of Trump's big push this week to try to show some leadership on national security. Tonight, Donald Trump is making the case he is better suited to be commander in chief than Hillary Clinton. She's trigger happy and very unstable, whether we like it or not. She's also reckless. Trump today delivering a speech on national security and military preparedness, saying if he is elected, he will give military leaders a month to present him with a plan to defeat ISIS. I will ask my generals to present to me a plan within 30 days to defeat and destroy ISIS. This will require military warfare, but also cyber warfare, financial warfare, and ideological warfare. That after Trump earlier in the campaign said he had a plan to confront the terrorist organization, but was keeping it a secret. I said, I have a great plan, it's gonna be great. Well, what is it? I'd rather not say I want to be unpredictable. Trump's new 30-day request is drawing scrutiny from at least one retired military general. It shows a complete lack of understanding of the threat and the ways to fight it. It's a sophomoric approach to, national, to elements of national security policy. In his Philadelphia remarks today, Trump also said he would push lawmakers to get rid of the military sequester, across-the-board budget cuts adopted in 2013, and increased defense spending. As soon as I take office, I will ask Congress to fully eliminate the defense sequester and will submit a new budget to rebuild our military. It is so depleted. Yet three years ago, he suggested the spending cuts didn't go far enough. I think really it's being over-exaggerated. A lot of things are not going to happen that people are thinking are going to happen. This as Trump's taxes remain in the spotlight, with his running mate Mike Pence preparing to release his tax returns this week. He clearly has something to hide. We don't know exactly what it is, but we're getting better guesses. In response, Trump is offering this challenge to Clinton. Uh, she has 33,000 emails that she deleted. When is she going to release her emails? She probably knows how to find it. Let her release her emails, and I'll release my tax returns immediately. But not so immediately, with Trump adding his usual caveat that he isn't going to release his tax returns while they are under audit. When the audit is complete, I'll release my returns. I have no problem with it. That reason seems to apply only to Trump's returns since 2009, as a letter from Trump's tax counsel notes his returns from 2002 to 2008 have been closed administratively with the IRS. And Trump's running mate Mike Pence plans to release his tax returns in the next 24 to 48 hours, which of course for Donald Trump will keep this issue front and center for him and give Hillary Clinton even more ammunition against him. Jake. All right.